welcome to my channel today in this session let us discuss about some mcq in case of our system operation so the question number one an industrial consumer has a load pattern of 2000 kilowatt 0.8 lakh for 12 hours so for the 12 hours we have a load pattern of 2000 kilowatt and 1000 kilowatt unity power factor for 12 hours the load factor is we are supposed to find out the load factor already if we have discussed about the formulas and also we have discussed some mcqs in case of load factor and with this once again we discuss some more mcqs in case of power system and operation right the load factor formula for load factor is load factor is equal to average load divided by maximum demand right so we have the maximum demand which is given here so we don't have the average load right and formula for finding the average load is average load is equal to average load is equal to units generated per day divided by hours in a day so this is the formula for finding the average load right so the units generated per day is given so 200 kilowatt load pattern for 12 hours and 1000 kilowatt pattern for the 12 hours so the hours in a day is nothing but 24 hours right let us find out the average load first and then let us find out the load factor right so here the hour units generated per day is given by we have the load per ton 2000 into 12 plus and another load 1000 into 12 divided by the hours is total hours is nothing but 20 and by this we get an answer as which is equal to 2500 and the load factor we are supposed to find out the load factor formula for finding the load factor is average load divided by the maximum demand load factor is given as 1500 divided by and the maximum demand is nothing but add these two load patterns that means 2000 plus 1000 we get as 3000 so we have the load pattern is 0 0.5 right so option for the answer question number one is option a is the correct option for the question number one right so this is the formula for finding the load factor already we have discussed the formulas and also we have discussed some mcqs in addition to that we are discussing the, 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 some more mcqs in case of theories right so for the given question the load factor is nothing but 0 0.5 it is obtained in such a manner right so the next question question number two in the question number two we are supposed to find out once again the load factor right in the case of percentage here once again the uh, formula for finding the load factor is nothing but load factor is equal to average demand divided by maximum demand right we have the maximum demand as 2 kilowatt it is given in the problem the maximum demand of a consumer is nothing but maximum demand consider this as MT MD which is equal to 2 kilowatt and the corresponding daily energy consumption is 30 units and what is the corresponding load factor and once again we don't know about the average demand we are supposed to find out the average demand initially for finding the average demand what is given here 30 units is given 30 units of cons energy consumption power consumption energy consumption daily so it is given in the problem right so let us once again find out the average demand 
over its demand which is equal to that means the units generated consumption divided by hours it is nothing but 24 hours right we get the value was 1.25 okay and our maximum demand is nothing but 2 kilowatt right so from this we are supposed to find out the load factor load factor which is equal to 1.25 divided by 2 kilowatt which is equal to nothing but 62.5 percentage so option c is the correct answer instead of this right so we have discussed two different load factor findings right one by the means of the uh, load pattern given for the hours and another by the means of daily energy consumption okay so from the problem may be of any case we are supposed to find out the load factor with the corresponding formula average demand divided by maximum demand this is the formula for finding the load factor in Finding the load factor, either maximum demand can be provided directly or you need to find out the maximum demand from the provided problem. You are supposed to find the load factor. The load factor which you have found will be always lesser than Okay. And the next problem. In the next problem, we are supposed to find out the maximum. And in the before two cases, we have discussed about the load factor, right? Initially, we have found out the load factor, and next we have learned to find out the load factor percentage. Here, we are supposed to find out the maximum demand. Well, how do we find out the maximum demand? We well know the formula that load factor is equal to average demand divided by maximum demand. So the average demand divided by maximum demand. The our question is nothing but what is the maximum demand of the station, right? And other things are given. Load factor is given, and also the energy consumed is also given. Okay. So given is only the energy consumption is not the average demand. Okay. And for, let me write the first of all write the given cases. Load factor is equal to 0 0.6. This is directly given, and I am supposed to find out the average demand. Average demand, which is equal to, which is nothing but 7, 720 divided by 24. That means this much amount of energy, daily energy produced, is thus nothing but this much, that is 720 megawatt hour. So, in, in one day we have 24 hours. So, I am dividing the energy produced divided by 24. I do get the value as 90. Okay. And I, I have the value as maximum demand which is equal to formula as load factor is equal to average demand by maximum demand. The question here is found out the maximum demand. Right. For finding the maximum demand, I am considering the maximum demand which is equal to average demand divided by load factor. Okay. So, load factor which is given in the problem is load factor which is equal to 0 0.6. So, I am substituting here as 90 divided by 0 0.6. It will be nearly equal to 50 megawatt. So, in this case, question number 3, option 3 is the option A is the correct answer, right? So, for finding the maximum demand or to find the average demand or to find the load factor, this formula is very much important. If this, we knew this formula, we are supposed to find out the any cases of this, right? Either the load factor or the average demand or the maximum. I repeat the formula once again. Load factor is equal to average demand divided by maximum G. Right? So the next objective. Next is question number 4. In the question number 4, 
A generating station has maximum demand of 30 megawatt and a load factor of 60 percentage. Here the load factor is given in percentage itself. The plant factor is of 50 percentage. You are supposed to find the reserve capacity. This problem has already discussed. Let me discuss once again here. So we knew the maximum demand. Maximum demand is given in the problem. Maximum demand is 30 megawatt. And the load factor is given. Load factor is equal to 60 percentage. And the capacity factor is given. Plant capacity factor. Plant capacity factor is equal to 50 percentage. Okay. I am supposed to find the reserve capacity of the plant. Okay. The reserve capacity of the plant is given by reserve capacity is equal to installed capacity installed capacity minus the maximum demand so maximum demand is given in the problem itself maximum demand is nothing but it is 30 megawatt it is given we need to find out the installed capacity to find out the installed capacity i have the formula that installed capacity which is equal to Installed capacity which is equal to average load divided by plant capacity factor. Okay. Here, average load is not directly given. It is, it is given in the, in the case of plant capacity factor as which is nothing but 50 percentage. Right. So, the installed capacity, to find the installed capacity, we have average load divided by the installed capacity. The average load here is nothing but at 30 megawatt. And the plant capacity factor is nothing but it is 50 percentage. So, we have the average load as, average load is equal to, 30 into 0 0.6, which is equal to 18 megawatt. This is obtained by the formula from load factor is equal to average load divided by maximum demand. We well know this formula, right? So, load factor, average load, is, from this we are able to find out the average load. Average maximum demand we have in the problem was 30 megawatt and the load factor is also 60 percentage. 60 divided by 100, we get the value was 0 0.6, which is nothing but 18 megawatt, right? And from this we are able to find out the installed capacity as yes, installed capacity which is equal to average load divided by the plant capacity factor. This formula is obtained from that formula of plant capacity factor which is equal to average load by installed capacity. This is the formula for finding the plant capacity factor. We know, know the plant capacity factor as 50 percentage which is given. We also know the average load, right? From this we are finding the installed capacity. Installed capacity which is given as 18 divided by 0 0.5 which is equal to 36, right? And our formula of finding reserve capacity is nothing but installed capacity minus the maximum demand. So, our installed capacity is 36 megawatt and the reserve capacity is 30 megawatt. We have 6 megawatt as the reserve capacity, okay? So, the reserve capacity of this particular generating station is nothing but 6 megawatt. This is the correct answer for the question of the four. Okay. So, we have discussed about the case of finding load factor, average load, maximum plant capacity factor, reserve capacity. Right. And in addition to that, we also discussed about some more MCQ in case of ESOs. That means the diversity factor. Diversity factor has different effect on right you well know that load factor must be always less than unity diversity factor must be greater than unity all right so it has the direct effect on the options are fixed cost per unit generated operating cost per unit generated and both a and neither a and b, not b, right 
So our option answer for this question number 5 was it depends upon the fixed cost per unit generated. Okay. And question number 6. The knowledge of diversity factor helps in computing. Okay. This is also this question is also relevant to the diversity factor. Initially, we have seen about the effect of the diversity factor. And now you are going to know about the knowledge of the diversity factor. If we knew about the diversity factor, the diversity factor is meant for computing. That is nothing but this meant for computing the bank capacity. Okay. And from the diversity factor, we are able to know about the bank capacity. And rather than that of the average load or the units generated by the particular generated station or the peak demand of the station. Okay. The diversity factor is meant only for the means of plan capacity. Yes. We have discussed about the cases of load factor, average limit and etc. Else. The, we also discussed about the formulas for the corresponding cases. Those who are not seen that, once again go through the definitions and come to those MCQ questions. Those questions are repeatedly asked in the case of UPSC examination and as well as the gate examination. So those who are preparing for such an examination, come across this video. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe.